Is the Earth unique? Are there other intelligent beings in the vastness of the universe? At the moment, we have no solid evidence pointing to higher life on other planets. Numerous factors contribute to making life as we know it possible in the first place. Our blue home planet meets all of these requirements. First of all, the Earth is in the right place. In other words, in the habitable zone. The right distance to the sun provides temperatures that make life on our planet possible. In addition, there are the positions of other planets and moons. Jupiter ensures the interception of countless meteorites through its size and gravitational attraction. The moon protects the Earth from comet impacts too. In addition, there is the composition of our atmosphere, which makes it possible for us to breathe. So how likely is it to find more Earth-like planets? In the infinite universe, there are an estimated 100 billion galaxies and stars. Of these, we have discovered only about 2,000. So is it only a matter of time before we find higher life on an Earth-like celestial body? The Kepler probe, K2 for short, has exactly this as its mission. To date, 219 candidates have been discovered by the probe. 10 of them are promising. They have similar surface structures, so they are rocky and solid, and they also have a sun-like star at the right distance. In other words, these planets are in a habitable zone. Water cannot be detected at these distances, but equally cannot be ruled out by the conditions. Other factors too, like the composition of the atmosphere, show similarities with the Earth. The following 10 planets have been recently discovered and might give rise to findings of many more planets similar to our Earth. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get ready for many more fascinating videos in the future. Kepler 452b. This ancient planet was discovered on July 23, 2015. At an incredible distance of 1400 light years from Earth, Kepler 452b seems forever out of reach. Nevertheless, it is interesting for science. The planet orbits its star in 385 days, making a year on 452b only 20 days longer than on Earth. The star of the galaxy also has many unusual similarities to our Sun. Its mass is almost identical and the temperatures on this star are the same as on our Sun. Thus, photosynthesis would be possible and probable on Kepler 452b. The big difference to the Earth is the mass of Kepler 452b. The planet weighs as much as five Earths. TRAPPIST 1f only 41 light years away from us is the exoplanet TRAPPIST 1f. It was discovered in 2017 in the constellation of Aquarius. The planet is a bit larger than Earth, but weighs only 0.68 Earth masses. It takes only 9 days to orbit its star. So, the years on TRAPPIST 1f are of short duration. The properties of the planet suggest the presence of water. Scientists believe it could be an ocean world. The side that is turned away from the sun might be covered with an immense ice crust. But all of this is only conjecture. Little is actually known about the atmospheric composition of this planet. TOI 700d Several interesting planets orbit the sun TOI 700, of which 700d is most similar to our Earth. The TESS Space Telescope, or Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, discovered the system and planets in January 2020 at a distance of about 100 light years from Earth. The Earth twin TOI 700d is the planet farthest from its Sun. The orbits of the other planets in the 700b and 700c system are too close to TOI 700, so 700d siblings are not in the habitable zone. TOI 700d is slightly larger than Earth with a radius of about 7,500 kilometers. For comparison, the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. A year on 700d 
takes just 37 days. The energy the planet receives from its sun could suggest mild temperatures. Gliese 581d Gliese 581d is only 20 light years away from us. The planet has the weight of seven Earths. With a distance of only 20.5 million miles to its star, it's much closer to its sun than the Earth is. This creates massive tidal forces that are responsible for bound rotation. This means that Gliese 581d always has one side facing away from its star. So is it always freezing cold on the dark side of the planet? Scientists simulated various possible compositions of the atmosphere, consisting of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This resulted in moderate temperatures on the far side, where the water present would not freeze. So could humans possibly inhabit this exoplanet? Although the temperatures are correct and the atmosphere could be artificially adjusted, the gravity of Gliese 581d prevents permanent habitation of the planet. Here, the gravity is two and a half times that of the Earth. Thus, a 150-pound human would weigh 385 pounds. The human skeleton and circulatory system would not be able to withstand these conditions for long. Kepler 22b Kepler 22b orbits a star very similar in size and temperature to the Sun. The planet's surface has average temperatures of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, pleasant and spring-like. Moreover, Kepler 22b would offer quite a bit more surface area than our Earth. The planet is two and a half times as large. The greenhouse effect is probably similar to that on our blue home planet. But the enormous distance of 600 light years puts this Earth twin in an unreachable distance. Tea Garden C. Discovered only in 2019, the system and its Earth like planet C take 11 days and 9 hours to orbit its star. With an Earth mass of 1.11, Tea Garden C weighs not much more than the Earth. The distance of 12 light years seems feasible, but we must remember that a light year is 5.88 trillion miles. Like Earth, the planet has an inner core and a solid rocky surface. However, because the star is a small red dwarf, Teagarden C's surface experiences freezing temperatures of about negative 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Kepler 186f Kepler 186f is the first planet in its system to be classified as Earth-like. It is only 10% larger than Earth and has similar surface structures. However, the distance to us is over 490 light years. The planet was named after the telescope Kepler, with which the celestial body was discovered in 2014. With 130 days, the planet needs a little bit more than one third of a year for the orbit of its sun. The distance to this sun amounts to more than 31 million miles. The energy received could provide temperatures that, under the right atmospheric conditions, would make life possible. HD 4307G While our Earth has a distance of 93 million miles to the Sun, this planet orbits the system star at a distance of 90 million kilometers. Discovered as early as 2012, the Earth's twin, 42 light years away, has a total of six planets orbiting the Sun of galaxy HD 4307. But only the outermost HD 4307G lies in the habitable zone and could even have water resources. An atmosphere is also relatively likely. The exoplanet weighs seven Earths and takes only 19 days to orbit its sun. Gliese 667c 20 light years from Earth, Gliese 667c orbits its star in just 28 days. The giant is four and a half times the size of Earth and is located in the constellation of Scorpio. The unusual thing is that the planet is in a triple star system. That means there are three suns rising and setting here. With five and a half times Earth mass, Gliese 667c is the heaviest planet in the system and orbits a central star system which consists of two stars in only seven days.
This superplanet was discovered back in 2009. TRAPPIST-1D In the constellation Aquarius, we find TRAPPIST-1D, which orbits about 40 light-years away from us. A year on this planet is just four days long. With a radius of 0.7, it is only a little smaller than our blue planet. It is also much lighter than the Earth. It weighs less than half of the Earth. Unfortunately, this celestial body is located just outside the habitable zone. Researchers assume that all water deposits have already evaporated. The temperatures on this Earth-like planet would be quite pleasant and would allow for life. It was discovered in May 2016. The search for Earth-like planets is far from over. The discovery of numerous Earth twins raises hope for further findings. Whether we will one day travel to one of these planets to colonize it, however, is still beyond our wildest dreams. Did you already know about one of these Earth-like planets? Do you think humans will colonize one or more of these planets in the far-off future? On which of the Earth twins would you want to live most? Give us your answers in the comments.